Welcome back. There are four tiny glands that sit in the lower neck that may only be the size of a grain of rice, but when one of them goes bad, it can make you feel awful. Since they regulate calcium, everything from kidney stones to fractures and fatigue impact the lives of those with primary hyperparathyroidism. UCSF Fresno surgeon Christina Mazur and Community Regional Medical Center have teamed up to bring a new blood analyzer right to the operating room. It's teamwork that lets the surgeon know right away if they've successfully removed a tumor. The last, you know, 12 weeks, you're going to feel more tired. Dr. Laura Reddington is a busy OBGYN who suffered a painful kidney stone during her own pregnancy. Also, problems with her blood pressure led doctors to diagnose her with primary hyperparathyroidism. I actually was showing signs of bone loss. I was having signs of osteopenia. It had not progressed on to osteoporosis. And... Um, I can't really say that I had a lot of aches and pains, except that maybe I was a little bit more tired than usual. Didn't have my normal energy level. No, it's our routine patient. It was recommended she see UCSF Fresno surgeon Christina Mazur, who has been instrumental in changing the way surgery for this problem is being performed here in the Valley. We know with primary hyperparathyroidism that 85% of the time it's one of four little glands that live in your neck that enlarges and produces too much hormone. And so you can curtail your surgery to a more minimally invasive approach where you can take one of those four glands out, limit your dissection to one side of the neck or the other, and limit your risk to the patient. This is our, our new assay machine. With the support of leadership at Community Regional Medical Center, Dr. Mazur helped get a new blood analyzer put right into the surgical suite. It's a technique she learned at her fellowship at Yale. Having the machine and a lab scientist in the surgery room makes it possible to learn right away if they are successful at removing a tumor or if more work needs to be done. That means no more waiting for lab work to arrive from another area of the hospital and less time in surgery for the patient. Plus it offers you the opportunity to prove to yourself that you've gotten the patient to a biochemical place where you can call them cured. The, the results are, are there quicker. Uh, the doctor can make the decision whether or not to uh, continue on with the operation uh, in, a, in a more timely fashion. The patient doesn't stay under anesthesia any longer. Uh, than necessary. And patient comfort and safety is what it's all about. The machine that we have acquired for the hospital is one of the top three that are out there and this machine is entirely self-sufficient. After the surgeon finds the problem gland and takes it out, the process begins. It streamlines the process. So I had, you know, we, we take the blood from the patient and walk to the back of the room and hand it to the laboratory tech. So it's what you would call point of service testing. So they're right there. They take it from, there's no delay in transporting the specimen. There's no delay in result because Chris, one of the lab techs, puts a sign up in the window that says five more minutes because he kind of knows that I like to know exactly when the, the results are there. And as soon as he has it, he flashes it up through the window and we know if we're done with this, the surgery or if we need to look for more, for more problems. You can go ahead and schedule her for a mammogram. For Dr. Reddington, that time saved in the operating room meant she was able to return to caring for her patients sooner. I think it's absolutely fabulous. To me, it's giving the very best care that we could give to the patient. Upon reflection, she's feeling stronger now, too. I am feeling better. My blood pressure is gradually decreasing back to normal also. Good news and exactly what Dr. Mazur and her team hopes for with all of their patients. There are a couple of goals that we set out with, and one of them was to decrease the time it took to do the operation, and the other um, was to decrease the amount of people that have to stay in the hospital. And just glancing at the numbers, I think we've pretty much met both of those goals. There's some other things that community is doing to buy new equipment for the doctors, and when the physician and the hospital partner together, that's when we are able to give the best care to the patient. So I benefited from that partnership. Doctors and hospitals working together for quality patient care. We're glad Dr. Reddington and patients like her benefit from that.